insanely cheap, cozy games that I can play for hours upon hours wrapped up in a blanket with my Nintendo Switch. Yes, please. Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. Listen, I get it. You need a new game to play, but you don't really want to have to spend $60 on a brand new game. Sometimes it's just not in the budget and sometimes you just splurged on a few $60 games and have spent almost $300 this month. I'm not gonna lie, I'm guilty. I have done that before. Thankfully though, there are so many amazing games for the Nintendo Switch that are under $15. We'll talk about some of the best ones in this video. Let's go ahead with the very first First game on this list, Sky Children of Light. I know you've probably heard of this game everywhere and a million times, but I had to include it on this list because it is 100% free, other than in-game purchases and bonuses, of course. The creators of this game won Game of the Year in 2013 for their game called Journey, but of course didn't stop there and went on to create this beautiful game full of adventure. Sky is an open world social adventure game that is full of beautiful music and stunning visuals with no violence to really worry about. In Sky, you arrive as Children of the Light, spreading hope through the desolate kingdom to return fallen stars to their constellations. This game has new updates and new seasonal events that come around, so you can always come back to it from time to time as well. Again, this game is free, so it definitely doesn't hurt to give it a try when you need a new game to play. If you like cats and puzzle games, this next game is for you. Invento is only $4.99 and you'll get to experience a calming, wordless puzzle game about cats and parenthood by solving puzzles. The whole game is about preparing bento dishes and arranging them in elaborate lunch boxes, all the while enjoying the calming soundtrack. It's a fairly simple puzzle game with over 100 puzzles with a few bonus stages as well. As the creator said, life of a modern cat can be stressful, so why don't you pause for a second and relax with a few rounds of Invento. I actually don't know what to label this next game. Townscaper is only $5.99 and is a great game if you're looking for a game with no goals. In Townscaper, you'll build island towns, small hamlets, soaring cathedrals, and even more. The catch is you actually don't build them yourself. You'll pick the color, place a block down on the map, and then the game will automatically turn the blocks you place into random houses and other decorations. This is the perfect game to play if you're looking to just turn your brain off and mindlessly build beautiful things. If you're looking for a super wholesome game, look no further. A Short Hike is only $7.99 on the Nintendo Switch, and if you haven't played it yet, this game is so worth it. In this game, you play as a bird who went camping but needs cell phone service to make a phone call. That's where the short hike comes in. You'll be making your way up a mountain all the while finding treasure, playing mini games, and enjoying the beautiful visual designs. There's plenty of content to have fun with, and if you like completing games 100%, this one doesn't take a lifetime to complete. So weirdly enough, in this next game, you also play as a bird. I didn't play in this, that's just how the pricing fell in order. Haven Park is $8.99 and honestly, I know it's a bit older, but I don't know why people don't talk about it more. It's been compared to a short hike and Animal Crossing, but I feel it's definitely a game of its own for sure. The story is about Flint, who has to bring his grandmother's park back to life and make it a camper's paradise. The small open world, fun little secrets, and building campsites at your own pace make you fall in love with this game. The storyline itself is pretty short, but it's totally worth it for the price. Don't worry, this next game you do not play as a bird, but there are some interesting characters in this game, like elves and orcs. Coffee Talk is a game about listening to people's problems, all the while helping them by serving them up a warm drink out of the ingredients you have in stock. This game is $12.99 and also has a demo available, so you can try it out before you purchase the entire game, which honestly is super helpful. I wish every game had a demo. This game has an older art style that most of us know and love. The music is also definitely what you would expect from a coffee shop, jazzy and lo-fi, which is a really nice touch. The really interesting part about this game is that the storylines are not determined by the dialogue you choose, but rather how you serve your customers. I think that's a really unique touch and this game has tons of good reviews. Akka is also $12.99 on the Nintendo Switch. If you haven't heard of Akka yet, Akka is a game about rebuilding and peace post-war. It has gardening, crafting, and exploring, 
all in a small open world. This game is more about being restful and peaceful than other games, allowing you to just sit and watch the clouds or nap on a capybara. There's also mini games, including a rhythm mini game and a card mini game. Wild animals and your garden design even play a role in the farming system. Overall, this is such a unique game and definitely one I would recommend relaxing with. This next game is for people who love to organize things. A Little to the Left is a highly praised puzzle organization game priced at $15.99. This game actually came out pretty recently and has gotten some very high praise so far. With over 75 puzzles, you can organize to your heart's content, or if you're just looking for a quick game to play, a daily puzzle unique to you will be delivered to you each day. Most of it is household items needing to be placed a certain way, like piles of paper or cat toys in a basket. Oh yeah, keep an eye out for the cat. Cats will be cats. If you're looking for a cheaper Animal Crossing-ish game, look no further as Cozy Grove is on the Nintendo Switch and it is only $14.99. This game actually has a lot of similarities to Animal Crossing, like crafting decorations, fishing, characters to befriend, and it is even synced on real time, which is something a lot of games do not do. For me personally, when games are synced on real time, it just makes them feel more relaxing and cozy and not as rushed, which I love. The differences from Animal Crossing is that there is a more prominent storyline. Some people have stated that the storyline could seem a little dark, so if you're not really into the darker storylines, definitely skip over this game. The storyline, however, can span over 40 plus hours just for the campaign itself. With the game being only $14.99, that's a lot of playtime. This next game has been dubbed one of the most easy and relaxing games to play if you like life sims. Littlewood is a game with a different twist. The world you live in has already been saved, you just don't remember how. For $14.99, this game is absolutely stunning. There are plenty of things to do, like gathering, mining, woodcutting, bug catching, fishing, farming, cooking, and even more. There is no stress, no threats to you in game, and no pressure at all to rush. Like Animal Crossing, you have complete control over your town and where buildings will go. And like Cozy Grove, this game actually has a lot of similarities to Animal Crossing. However, this game is full of grinding. Personally, for me, grinding can be very relaxing and cozy, but if you do not like grinding, this game is sadly not for you. Dwarf Romantic is $14.99 and it's probably the most beautiful puzzle strategy game on this list. You'll create a beautiful village landscape by placing tiles in different spots. The awesome thing about Dwarf Romantic is you can play it as you please, either peacefully and mindless, or you can try to beat the high score by planning your tiles strategically. Basically, you'll place combinations of landscape tiles around others, so think like forests or villages, and you get rewarded with points depending on how well it fits around what you placed. It gets interesting when you encounter special tiles, like some of them will give you quests to fulfill, and if you fulfill those quests, you'll be rewarded with more tiles to continue your landscape. There are five different modes to play, including quick mode, hard mode, custom mode, monthly mode, and creative mode, so whatever mood you're in, this game has a mode for it. Stardew Valley is the last game on this list and it comes in at $14.99. Let me just say, if you have not played Stardew Valley yet, just go buy it. Personally, it is my favorite cozy game of all time. Farming, fishing, mining, friendships, a storyline. There is so much content in this one game and it has the best pixel graphics. Why do you think you see all these pixel graphics now? It's because of Stardew Valley. There's so much I could say about this game, but honestly, if you need a reason to buy it, just go look at the 448,000 reviews on Steam or ask one of the other 20 million people who have bought this game. Honestly, Stardew Valley is just the best. So if you're looking for a cozy game under $15 on your Nintendo Switch, I hope this list helped you in your search. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.